Every night, for as long as I can remember, I have been having the same dream. In this dream, I meet a boy, fall in love with him, start a family, and live happily ever after. I have always believed that this dream was showing me my future, showing me the person I'll be with for the rest of my life. I spent years fantasizing about what it would be like to finally meet him. And then, one year ago, I found him. The boy from my dreams is in the same school as me. But I'm too afraid to speak to him, because I'm worried that I'll ruin everything and make him hate me. So, for the past year, I've been admiring him from afar, while I built up enough courage to speak to him. He's my soulmate. My destiny. But... While we're at school, he's just my senpai. I was having so much fun watching him, learning everything about him, and planning our life together. But then, someone had to come and ruin everything. She's trying to take him from me, and I won't let her get away with it. like this. Oh! <sighs> Ryobachan! Are... Are you the person who left that note in my locker? What did you want to talk to me about? I need to tell you something about the boy you have feelings for. Uh, you know who I have a crush on? Oh, it's so can't have him. He belongs to me.
out of the cooking club. Why did you do that? Oh, that knife actually belonged in the home ec room. I was just putting it back where it belonged. After I disposed of the girl who was trying to steal my senpai, I cleaned up all the evidence. I left no trace of what I had done. Or so I thought. When the police investigated the girl's disappearance, they found a single bloodstain that I failed to clean up. This was enough to make the police begin investigating the girl's disappearance as a possible murder case. A potential murder at an elite school was big news. It was a stain on the school's prestigious reputation. The headmaster didn't take it very well. I heard that he struck a deal with the police to keep any future investigations as discreet as possible. The faculty and the student council will be on high alert from now on. I'll need to be more careful in the future. But I can't rest yet. Another threat has appeared. She plans to confess her feelings to my senpai at 6 p.m. on Friday. I need to stop her before then. If I kill every girl who shows an interest in my senpai, I might attract more police attention to the school. So, even though I'm tempted to plunge a knife into her heart, perhaps I should consider avoiding bloodshed. I should eavesdrop on their conversations. I might be able to learn some valuable information. In fact, with a little bit of sabotage, I might be able to ruin their budding relationship and make my senpai lose all interest in her.
After eliminating that girl, I thought my senpai would be safe. But now, I have a new problem to deal with. Another girl is showing interest in him. A cute tomboy with a gung-ho attitude. Boys like that sort of girl, don't they? If he keeps spending time around her, she might steal his heart. I can't let that happen. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard a nasty rumor about her. Apparently, she has a... secret hobby. Something dangerous. Something she could get in big trouble for. It might be worth it to follow her around school and learn what she's hiding. Perhaps I can find a way to make her bad habits backfire on her. You know what they say. You play with fire, and you get burned. My sweet, wonderful senpai is too popular for his own good. Yet another girl has been getting a little too close to him lately. She's a shy, timid little bookworm. When a guy sees that type of girl, he just wants to scoop her up in his arms and protect her. Right? It makes me sick. I need to get rid of her as soon as possible. But if her death is an obvious murder, it might complicate things. If I do decide to kill her, perhaps I should make it look like an accident. The only thing I know about this girl is that she loves books. It sure would be a shame if the one thing she loves the most 
is what leads to her tragic, untimely demise. Before she can crush my dreams, I need to crush her. trouble with one of my assignments. It's for my least favorite school subject. I hate this stupid assignment so much if you're willing to complete this assignment for me. Really?
My senpai is perfect in every way. He's smart, talented, handsome. So I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that another girl has fallen for him. This one is an aspiring athlete. Fit, tan, tome dabs. Boys go crazy for that type of girl, don't they? She worries me. I'll need to take her out quickly. She seems to be encouraging my senpai to adopt her lifestyle choices. Eat healthy, exercise often, no smoking or drinking. Of course, all of these are respectable decisions. But she's actually putting her health in grave danger by getting between me and the man I love. I heard that she prepares a special meal in the home ec room every day. A healthy, nutritious meal, packed full of vitamins and minerals. I hope she chokes on it. Like an insect buzzing around a meal that was left unattended, another pest has begun to orbit around my senpai. The latest girl comes from one of Japan's wealthiest families. She looks down on anyone with less money than her, which of course means that she looks down on nearly everyone. I can tell that she doesn't see my senpai as an equal. It would be more accurate to say that she wants to keep him as a pet. I'd like to say that my senpai has enough sense to avoid getting involved with her. 
but the promise of a cozy life in the lap of luxury might be too tempting for him. Just to make sure that he doesn't make the wrong decision, I'll have to remove the option from his life altogether. It looks like the only reason she enrolled in Akademi was for the prestige. She has no intention of studying at all. She spends all day sunbathing at the pool. You know, every year, a lot of unfortunate accidents happen around pools. It would be such a shame if she fell asleep and drowned. I can't take my eyes off my senpai for even one moment. Because there's always a new girl trying to steal him from me. This week, my rival is a girl who dreams of becoming a pop idol. She spent so many years of her life learning how to sing and dance. What a shame that all her efforts will go to waste. Bubbly, full of energy, always smiling. Guys can't resist that type of girl, can they? I definitely can't ignore this one. I need to deal with her, and quickly. She set up a stage in the school gym, where she rehearses her cute little songs. Microphones, speakers, all those wires and cables. There's gotta be an opportunity in there somewhere. She wants to captivate an audience, does she? Well... I should lend her a hand, and help her give a shocking performance.
Many girls have competed for my senpai's heart. Most of them were mere pests rather than actual threats. But the latest one is different. Akademi's top student. The brightest girl in school. Perfect scores on every test. Flawless grades in every subject. The perfect combination of beauty and brains. Any guy at school would be honored to have her attention. If she continues to spend time around my senpai, there is no doubt that she'll steal him away from me. It feels like I've been seeing the police patrolling near Akademi more often lately. The unsolved murder from earlier this year is still a stain on their reputation. Any bloodshed at this point in time could attract unwanted attention. Perhaps I should keep my hands clean from now on. Hmm... Akademi's top student. It sure would be a shame if she was expelled from school, wouldn't it? <laughs> what can I help you with? Is that true? I'd hate to think we have a thief here at school. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. No! I'm not the one who did this! I would never steal from anyone! <laughs> what can I help you with? Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I'll have to have a word with her later today. What are you talking to me for? Trust me, I'm not the kind of guy you want to get involved with. If you spend too much time around me, you're gonna get hurt. I'm not just saying that, you know. I'm serious. I pissed off some pretty nasty guys. And every day, they wait outside the school gate for me to show up, so they can beat me senseless. If they see me and you together, they'll think you're my girl. And if they get the impression that you're important to me, They'll probably try to rough you up. Or worse. So just stay away from me. Got it? <laughs> what? Are you insane? You think you could take them on? We're talking about a gang here. You wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> Your funeral. I'll be waiting at the school gate at 3.30.
Yep, there they are. Right on schedule. You better leave before... Hey, you're not actually going to try to fight them, are you? They'll kick your ass. <sighs> no turning back now. Here they come. I've... I've never seen anything like that before. You're... not human. <laughs> After today, I definitely won't have to worry about those guys anymore. If you hadn't stepped in, though, they probably would have killed me. I... <laughs> I owe you my life. There's no way I could ever pay you back for what you just did. But... there's someone else who might be able to. My brother. He's got... connections. You know that street with all the stores? At night, you can find my brother there, in an alleyway. I'll tell him to hook you up with whatever you want. After that, we'll be square, alright? And hey, thanks again. I'm not going to give you my name, and you're not going to give me yours. The less we know about each other, the better. As soon as we're done here, you're going to forget my face and forget that this conversation ever happened. Got it? Understood. My brother owes you a debt that he could never repay. I'm grateful that you pulled his ass out of the fire, but that doesn't make us friends. The less debts a man owes, the better. And I don't want my brother to owe anything to anyone. So I'm here to make things square between you and him. This is strictly business, so let's cut to the chase. I brought some things with me that you might be interested in. Hurry up and pick the one that you want. There, you got what you wanted. With this, my brother's debt is cleared. Do we have an understanding? We do. Good. And if you're smart, this will be the last time you even talk to someone like me. Just one thing about my brother. I want you to... Never mind. Forget I said anything. <laughs> what can I help you with? That's a very serious accusation. I hope you're not lying to me. 
Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding. I'll investigate the matter. <laughs> what can I help you with? That's a clear violation of school rules, not to mention completely illegal. If what you're saying is true, she will face serious consequences. I'll confront her about this. I need to take a look in your bag. Cigarettes! You have absolutely no excuse to be carrying something like this around. Huh? I don't smoke! I don't know why something like this was in my bag! <laughs> what can I help you with? That's a bold claim. Are you certain? I'll investigate the matter. If she is cheating, I'll catch her in the act. What's this inside of your desk? An answer sheet! You're cheating! Unacceptable! Huh? I don't know why something like this was in my desk! Come with me! Obviously, we need to have a long talk about the kind of behavior that will not be tolerated at this school! That's it! I've given you enough second chances! You have repeatedly broken school rules and ignored every warning that I have given you. You have left me with no choice but to permanently expel you. No! Please! Don't do this! Yamato Nadishiko. It's a phrase that refers to the traditional Japanese concept of the ideal woman. A woman who is pure and feminine, gentle, graceful, humble, patient, faithful, meek, quiet, timid, keep the house clean, bear lots of children, respect your husband no matter what, know your place. Yamato Nadishiko. It's often said that this type of woman is going extinct. That it's rare to find a woman who embodies those traits in this day and age. But there's one girl at Akademi who fits that description perfectly. The most popular girl in school. Every boy wants her. 
Every girl wants to be her. Even my senpai has fallen under her spell. Well, it's time to break the spell that this witch has cast over the school. I'd like to stain her perfect reputation and turn her adoring fans into her enemies. Sometimes, when I'm following my senpai home from school, I notice that he likes to buy certain magazines from convenience stores. Magazines featuring gravure idols, attractive young women who strike provocative poses in revealing outfits. He's a big fan of one girl in particular. Since her debut, He's bought every magazine with even a single photo of her. And she just transferred into Akademi. Most of the school's male population are already completely infatuated with her. They follow her around school like a pack of pathetic, lovesick puppy dogs. And my senpai is among them. As much as I'd love to carve a hole in her heart... It might be difficult with so many witnesses surrounding her at all times. Perhaps the best way to deal with her is to set her up with another boy. After all, it's not like it's going to be difficult to find a volunteer.
trouble with one of my assignments. It's for my least favorite school subject. I hate this stupid assignment so much, and if you're willing to complete this assignment for me... Really? You I've been trying to avoid acknowledging him, but at this point in time, that's just not possible anymore. The man in the trench coat, the investigative journalist, he finally made his move. For months now, he's been obsessed with investigating Akademi, but the headmaster has always refused him entry into the school. 
up until now. That was enough to stop him. But recently, he found a loophole. Apparently, he's had an apprentice for a while now. She's a junior detective, and a former student of Akademi. Back when she was attending school here, she did something extraordinary. She solved a high-profile murder mystery that the police were struggling with. That accomplishment turned her into a national celebrity almost overnight. There was nothing more for her to gain from remaining enrolled in Akademi, so... She left without graduating, and quickly began a career as a junior detective. And now, one year later, she's back. She claims that she's here to finish her degree, but I can tell that there's more to the story than that. Her mentor, that journalist, is firmly determined to investigate Akademi. Clearly, he must have asked his apprentice to return here to be his eyes and ears. The two of them have been interviewing students, and they've learned something. Things tend to happen to girls who have a crush on a certain boy at school. My senpai. He's become a person of interest to them. And now, that junior detective girl is investigating him. Following him everywhere, talking to him all the time. And lately, she's been getting a bit too friendly with him. It's enough to make my blood boil. But, as much as I would love to sink a knife into her heart, a violent approach might be a bad decision this time around. She's convinced a bunch of students to patrol the hallways with cameras. Right now, the slightest mistake could cost me everything. This girl. She's probably the most dangerous enemy I've faced so far. But, if I could somehow manage to befriend her, and put her in debt to me, she could be a powerful ally. trouble with one of my assignments. I hate this stupid assignment so much. If you're willing to complete this assignment for me. Really? Oh my god! You Huh? What's this? Maybe I should meet them. Your diary fell out of your book bag. I picked it up to put it back. And I accidentally saw what was written on one of the pages. Something about an evil photographer? It made me worry. Are you in danger? Do you need help? Please, tell me what's going on.
Why don't you call the police? I'll go to the insane asylum and burn the photographer's pictures for you. Don't worry. I'm tougher than I look. Trust me, I'll be fine. Give me your phone number so I can call you when the problem is resolved. Walls closing in. Walls closing in. Walls in demons.
<laughs> Tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Walls <laughs> closing in. <laughs> Who'd have known it'd be so easy? Just start a rumor and they flock straight to you. Stupid girls. So gullible. When I finally sell these photos, I'm gonna be so rich. Come on. When's the next one gonna show up? I'm tired of waiting. The past 11 weeks have challenged me in every way possible. But, despite everything, I've still managed to defeat every one of my adversaries. These experiences have made me stronger, braver. I think I finally found the courage to talk to him, to tell him how I feel. When I confess my feelings to him, it has to be special. It has to be perfect. I don't believe in the myth about the cherry tree behind the school, but I can't think of any place more appropriate for my confession. Today. I'm going to tell him today. Senpai, please accept my feelings. It's happening. It's really happening. Today is the day. The day I finally tell him how I feel. It's taken so long. But now I'm ready. I'm ready to- Stop right there, Ryoba Aishi. What? It's you. You are under arrest on suspicion of the murder of Sumire Satozaki 11 weeks ago. Wait, please. There must be some mistake. I had nothing to do with- Oh, no. You're not going to sweet-talk your way out of this one. Your innocent schoolgirl act won't save you this time. What evidence do you even have? I've been questioning your classmates over the past couple of months. They've noticed a pattern in your behavior. That boy over there. The one under the tree. You've shown a keen interest in any girl who developed feelings for him. And, from what I've heard, You've been doing everything in your power to keep girls away from him. What's happening here is obvious. You're eliminating any girl who tries to take that boy away from you. And Sumire was your first victim. No! I would never hurt anyone! I swear! I'm innocent! You have to believe me! Save it for the judge. Cuff her, boys.
On April 1st, Ryoba Aishi put a note into the locker of Sumire Saitozaki. After reading this note, Sumire went to the East Third Floor Girls' Restroom. That was the last time anyone ever saw Sumire. After she was reported missing, police investigated Akademi for clues. In the East Third Floor Girls' Restroom, they found some of Sumire's blood. Shortly before Sumire went missing, Ryoba Aishi was spotted carrying a knife and walking in the direction of the East Third Floor Girls' Restroom. Later, she was seen carrying a large garbage bag towards the school incinerator. All of this information came from Ui Tunisu, a student at Akademi, who was interviewed by the police the day after Sumire's disappearance. It's obvious what happened to Sumire. Ryoba Aishi killed her in the bathroom with a knife, stuffed her in a garbage bag, and carried her to the incinerator where she burned all of the evidence. Do you deny any of this, Ryoba Aishi? I did not kill Sumire Saitozaki. It's true that I put a note in her locker and spoke with her in the bathroom, but I simply wanted to discuss a personal matter with her. Nothing more. What about the knife? I noticed that one of the knives in the home economics room was missing. It turned out that someone had brought the knife to the cooking club by mistake. So, I simply took it from the cooking club and put it back in its rightful place. And the garbage bag? How do you explain that? I love my school. I can't stand to see trash and garbage piling up everywhere. I do my part to keep the school clean, just like everyone else does. <laughs> you always have a convenient explanation for everything, don't you? Do you really think anyone in this courtroom is going to believe your obvious lies? <sighs> Mr. Journalist, there are a number of problems with your theory. First of all, you're accusing me of murder, but you don't actually have any proof that Sumire is dead. She is still considered missing, after all. I think she simply ran away because of the stress of studying at an elite school. I pray that she is alive and well and will return to us one day. You think I killed Sumire because of three facts. I spoke to her, I held a knife, and I burned some trash. However, none of these things are grounds for suspicion. Every day at school, dozens of students talk to each other, touch objects that could be used as weapons, and carry garbage bags to the incinerator. There was nothing unusual or suspicious about my behavior. You know, I think I finally figured out what's going on here, Mr. Journalist. Your apprentice, Sonoko Sakanoe, became a celebrity after she stopped a killer. You're desperate to pin a crime on me, because you want to be a celebrity too. The only reason that any of us are in this courtroom today is because you're deeply insecure that your apprentice has accomplished more than you. Order! Order in the court! <laughs> it's true that there is no smoking gun evidence linking you directly to a murder. However, with that said, over the past 11 weeks, you have demonstrated behavior that is suspicious if not outright incriminating. Your classmates have testified that you've been stalking a certain boy at school. Following him when he goes shopping, following him when he walks home. By all accounts, you're absolutely obsessed with this boy. Furthermore, every time a girl begins to show signs of interest in him, something always happens that removes the girl from his life. You can't possibly expect anyone to believe that these facts are mere coincidence. Clearly, you are sabotaging the boy's love life in order to keep him single. And who else had a crush on that boy? That's right. Sumire Saitozaki. You've been eliminating every girl who comes between you and that boy. And Sumire was your first victim. Order! I said order! Enough conjecture. Let's go over the facts. Thank you.
Taking all of the facts into consideration, it is clear, beyond any shadow of a doubt, that Ryoba Aishi is innocent of all charges. A murderous schoolgirl who kills in the name of love. It was a novel concept. Newspapers realized it would get sales. TV stations realized it would boost ratings. It didn't take long for the news of my murder trial to spread across the entire nation. I've never seen an event get that much coverage before. It was a real media circus. And now... Everyone in the country knows my name and face. Even worse, they all know how I feel about my senpai. Oh, this is my worst nightmare. I didn't want him to learn about me like this. I wanted our first meeting to be special. Perfect, exactly like in my dreams. But now, that can never happen. He'll never be able to see me as a cute underclassman who has a crush on him. He'll only be able to see me as that girl who was accused of murder on national TV. If I confess my love to him now, I doubt he'll want anything to do with me. Even though I was declared innocent, there will always be doubts in his mind. That stupid journalist ruined absolutely everything. There's nothing I want more than to rip his heart out and shove it down his throat. But spilling any blood right now would only attract more attention. There are too many eyes on me right now. I have to lay low for a while. Revenge isn't an option at this point in time. But I'll never forget what that man did. I won't be able to have a romantic confession underneath a cherry tree. But this isn't over yet. I still have one option remaining. My last resort. It's unfortunate that things turned out like this. But I was left with no other choice. I would have been crushed if he rejected me. So, I had to take away the option. Our relationship might be awkward for a little while, but we'll get through it together. After all, I know all of his likes and dislikes. <laughs> I'm sure he'll warm up to me soon. Ah, <sighs> There's a part of me that wonders, what was the point of all the hard work I just did if I was just going to kidnap him in the end. But, despite the way things turned out, I don't think the past eleven weeks were a waste at all. I learned so many new things, and gained so many new skills. I'm sure I'll be able to find a way to put all of my knowledge and talents to good use. And, one day, I can pass down everything I know to my son or daughter. <laughs> There's still so much to look forward to. Like the blossom of a cherry tree. The Senpai, I'm back from the star. I made sure to buy all of your favorite Senpai? Senpai! No, no, no. This can't be happening. Senpai! Senpai! Where are you? Oh, no, no, no. Why would you leave me? I thought we were making progress. I thought you were finally starting to... Oh, wait. What? The letter? Dear Ryoba Aishi, we have taken your senpai out for some fresh air. We have no intention of harming him? We will return him to you, but first, you must pass a test. 
come to the row of abandoned warehouses outside of town. We will be in warehouse 879. Bring whatever you want with you, but come alone. You have one hour. Signed, Saisho Psycho, CEO and founder of Psycho Corp.